well good morning everyone starting this vlog out and about a little bit i feel like i never start the vlogs out of the house it always feels really really weird to start it as i am outside but i was up bright and early this morning didn't get a chance to chat to you before i left the house um but today is a lovely day because today is a shopping day. I feel like I haven't made the most of the January sales yet. I actually haven't seen that there's been a huge amount, particularly online, but if there is one place, you know, I always love visiting, especially love, I don't want to say like promoting, but chatting about, because I always come here, obviously supernaturally, it's not like I'm working with them. In fact, I did work with them once, many, many moons ago, but that is Gun Wharf Keys. We have come for a girls shopping day at Gun Wharf to make the most of the January sales and cheer ourselves up this January basically. As you can see it is freezing this morning. It is a beautiful blue sky day. But, oh wow. <laughs> That wind chill is serious. So I'm wrapped up really nice and warm. I've got my little totem scarf on, my ivy and oak gorgeous black um, long line wool coat, mulberry vase water, and my Jimmy Choo boots because these are the lined fluffy ones. But just look at that sunshine. Oh my goodness me. It is such a beautiful, like winter sun kind of a day. But first things first, we are heading for a coffee. We always like to arrive as early as possible. So it is about 10 minutes until the stores actually open. So we always head straight to Acosta to get ourselves a coffee, fuel up and caffeinate before we head out shopping and then we can pop into all the stores here. I would always recommend getting to Gomorf as early as possible. I don't know what that noise is. I have no idea what they're doing over there. Um, but I would always recommend getting to Gomorf as early as possible because it gets so busy. As soon as it hits like lunchtime, it's very similar to Bista Village where as soon as you kind of hit like two, three o'clock, it's heaving it's absolutely heaving so always come as early as possible it opens at about 10 um so you can get here from about half nine onwards grab yourself a coffee just have a little wander like get a bit of a lay of the land um and then to all of your sale shopping and there are so many amazing stores here definitely gonna be checking out the white company because i really want some new like winter scents that aren't christmasy um always love ralph lauren there's like radley coach kate spade um sweaty betty so many amazing stores so it's gonna be a good day of shopping but oh my god my hands are freezing i need to put my gloves on because i took them off so that i can start filming but it is so so cold i really really need this coffee to warm me up coffees have been had so we are ready to hit the shops and one thing i would say is that there is a row of stores that i feel like a lot of people forget about it's just over the water over the bridge so we've just stopped at costa which is behind me over there and there's a row of stores which is a lot of like cook shops there's a flower store bedding stores and i feel like a lot of people forget them because they're not in like the main section of gun wolf keys they always do amazing sales they here they have amazing prices whether you're looking for like bedding pillows things like that so ready to hit the stores i'm really excited to see what's sales are on my gosh my hair I just want to get out of my face it's the one problem with gum it's always so so windy um but yes ready to hit the stores i always get questions about my coffee cups whenever i am having my morning coffee with you guys and this is where i get them from it they are called zwilling the brand um and they just have so many different variations and what i love about these is they are dual lined can you see really closely just here there's two layers of glass there so it means that they hold the heat inside the coffee so so well so you've got ones with handles i've got these ones as well which are like a little bit fatter and they're a little bit rounder which i really really like the full size ones which i adore and then you can also get ones that don't have a handle if you want to like you know cup it and hold it round um and even though they are designed for obviously like hot drinks they work for cold drinks as well like i think you've got a few over here for things like cocktails so as well as keeping the heat in it keeps the cool in so it means the ice doesn't melt as quickly they are honestly absolute game changer so i would definitely recommend checking out swelling it's just over the bridge um near costa if you are ever coming into gun wharf because they are absolute game changers oh my goodness i also always get questions about my little spinny nespresso pod holder that i have and we've just popped into tefa which i didn't realize actually sell nespresso products um but this is from crops which i think you can shop on amazon i will usually link a similar one on amazon it's slightly different in the sense of it's bent um but it's so handy whenever it comes to nespresso pods you can also get this one which like completely stays still and you can just put the pods down um 
and they're really handy whenever it comes to like selecting one you don't have to like you know fish in like a pot or anything like that and I find it so much more aesthetic so they've got those there they've also got loads of espresso machines that are on offer at the moment which is absolutely insane because the prices are just amazing I mean say 45 pounds say 57 pounds such a huge saving and you know how much I rely on my Nespresso machine I literally use it every single day so an absolute steal into the mothership now i would always recommend checking out the white company at gunwolf keys in my opinion i think this is the best white company outlet of all the outlet stores around the uk they also have such good prices and such good stock so let's head in Jo Malone is absolutely one of the handiest makeup bags to keep all of your things in in your bag just like you know anything you need like hairbrushes I think I have it in this bag actually right now I literally do that is hilarious you can tell it's very well loved and very old but it's such a handy one to keep with you that's so funny that I just spotted that in the outlet the limited edition pomegranate noir bottles how fun are these they did these for Christmas and I'm surprised to already see them in the outlet store but it's always such a great price but it's so much more affordable than they normally are. I would definitely recommend checking out the, um, the Jo Malone in the cosmetics company because they have so many favourites. I mean Honeysuckle and Divana is an absolute favourite of mine. I might actually pick up a top up of that. I also love Red Roses. a beautiful one with orange blossom and a few other fragrances down here. limited edition Bobbi Brown packaging is in the outlet as well at a really really good price. I've been loving the face palette from this. It's so beautiful. Lots of faves from Darfan. I am absolutely loving my Darfan skin products at the moment. Oh this looks like a lovely cleansing balm. Before, but the cosmetics company are now doing these bespoke boxes full of loads of different brands so if you maybe want to try some makeup from a few different 
um, makeup brands. We've got Bobbi Brown, Monique, MAC, Estee Lauder. I love the look of that brightening blush. It's my favorite. I love the Bobbi Brown smoky eye mascara. This is actually so amazing and really, really good price. Oh, these are my favorite blushes as well. <gasps> oh, I absolutely love that. This is literally the blush that got me hooked on blusher and they've got loads of different boxes with uh, assuming different like products and different brands inside that's an amazing new kind of promotion that they're doing advice I would always give when it comes to hand sanitizers is the rituals this is the ritual of samurai hand sanitizer and oh my goodness me I always get so many compliments this is the best smelling hand sanitizer in the world and whenever I use it people are like oh my gosh I need to get this I always feel like hand sanitizers usually smell so so bad so that's a lovely one I'm not actually tried the rituals of karma but that looks like a really lovely one as well but honestly game changing when it comes to hand sanitizer
Well, my goodness me, I think it is safe to say that that was one of the most successful gun wharf trips we have ever, ever done. I actually came away with the least. And when I tell you that my boot is full, we have a real loot to unbox together. The other girls got so many bits as well. But my goodness me, was it cold. So, so chilly. I'm so glad that I wrapped up warm this morning. As soon as I saw the temperatures, I knew all the thermals and all the layers would be needed i will give you one piece of advice if you are coming down to visit gun wolf keys and do a little bit of shopping no matter what the temperature says no matter what the wind chill says always expect it to be windier and colder than it actually says i think it's because it's right on the water's edge like it's right on the waterfront that the wind just whips through like the storefronts Oh my goodness although to be fair the shops were all really nice and warm and a lot of them had their doors closed with a little sign saying we are still open it's nice and warm come inside so that was really really lovely but i'm so glad that i had my gloves my scarf i have layered up today obviously got my gorgeous little ivy and oak coat but i didn't get to show you my outfit i had on underneath i've got a little black roll neck which i've styled up with a ralphie i saw someone do this on instagram the other day and i was like that is adorable i also feel like as soon as you get into like spring summer a ralphie with a shirt underneath so preppy and so cute you know we're loving the preppy vibes if you watched my 2024 trend prediction video but yeah we had a really really successful trip the one place that i feel like actually disappointed me was ralphie i wanted to have a look at a few new cable knits because you know how much i'm loving my ralphie cable knits and i just wanted to see what colors they had in stock and the colorways weren't very impressive there was like a really bright red but it wasn't like a cute red it was very much like a christmasy red there was a couple of v-necks but i personally prefer the crew neck on me i just feel like it's a little bit more flattering and suits my kind of shape a little bit better so ralph Lauren was the one place i was quite disappointed with but other than that i feel like the sales were popping like the january sales were january and it was a really really good stock level i would say of the sale pieces but also the new in pieces they've already started getting out a little bit of the new season ahead of spring so if you are ready to get excited about the new season and ready to start thinking about a little bit of warmth definitely head to gun wolf because they had a lot of new season goods in but they also had some really great sales and like additional sales even on top of like the outlet prices with regards to their sale items so it's the first january sale shopping i've done that i've been really really impressed with and i picked up a lot of things for like some really amazing prices and it was the kind of sale where you would like take it to the till even like what you thought it was going to be when you took it to the till it would be like an extra 10 or 15 or 20 percent off the price so we were all very very impressed and it is safe to say that we've all done a little bit of damage to our bank balances but totally worth it in the name of january sale shopping so yes i would definitely recommend a visit to gun wharf if you are looking to do a little bit of sale shopping and make the most of the january sales and even get a little bit excited for some new season pieces one thing as well actually that i noticed whilst we were there is that a lot of stores have got like full price items in there things that you would find like not at an outlet ugg particularly was one where they had loads of signs for things like their tasmins like their mini uggs um the ultra minis and like the platform slippers a lot of them literally had signs on saying like full price so i think a lot of stores are now sending items to their outlets that you would buy in like the normal store anyway i don't know if it's just because the outlets are like so popular to go to so it's trying to like upsell their new normal products but I'm not entirely sure what it is but um yeah i am sitting here absolutely rambling to you guys just chatting away about our shopping trip but it was a very very successful trip and i'll have to show you what i picked up because i am really really excited about the pieces and about the things i got in the january sales back home now though i'm not going to lie to you i am going to be in a battle against the sunlight because the sun is setting fast right now i don't know if you can see it behind me i feel like the camera isn't really picking it up but the golden hour glow that we're getting in the kitchen right now is just magnificent it's honestly my favorite time of day and especially golden hour in winter i feel like it just hits so differently than in some of that like low level warm lighting that you get that just floods the entire room i absolutely love it. i do feel like we're so lucky because we've got a south facing kitchen it means the light that we get throughout the day is just so beautiful i feel like the morning light the way that it just like shines through the trees and we get that kind of like flutter of shadow is my favorite i love the middle of the daylight when it's like streaming in and the whole room is just flooded with light but this time of day 
when it just feels so warm and so cozy, I absolutely love. But it does mean I'm gonna be in a little bit of a battle against daylight. So hopefully I'll be able to show you everything that I have picked up before we completely lose all of the lights. So I'm gonna start with the White Company because I feel like, as I said, the White Company is the place to go to in Gumball Keys. They always have such good stock and they always have so many amazing things in there. A lot of the things that they were um, kind of like releasing were very spring, summer focused. They have Peony back which I was so excited about, but I'm not gonna lie, I'm not quite ready for. Peony to me is like a May, June scent. I think obviously peonies are like May, June flowers. The scent of it really reminds me of that like early summer sunshine. So I really wasn't quite ready for peony or um, Capri or what other ones did they have? It was like a sea fennel one. I can't remember which one that one was, but I smelled this one and I have not smelled it before. And I just thought this was a perfect winter scent. This is sandalwood. So it has clove leaf, sandalwood and vetiver, which I'm not entirely sure what vetiver is, but I smelled it in the store and my goodness me, it is beautiful. I feel like it's a really warm scent. It's definitely giving me winter vibes. To me, I think obviously because it's sandalwood, that woodiness really does come out of it. Like it kind of reminds me of like a stoked fire, which is just so warm and cozy and lovely at this time of year. And especially now in January, I think updating your scents and like updating your kind of like fragrances around the home is so, so important just to really embrace the season. So something really cozy and comforting is so, so welcome right now. So I picked up a full size diffuser in the sandal, which, which I absolutely adore. I then also picked up, which I feel like this is really giving me the theme of like, wintering and just embracing the January cozy vibes because I also picked up these. Now these are one of the best things in the entire world. These are the White Company Cashmere Socks. And I feel like these make such good Christmas presents, such good birthday presents. If you know someone that's got like a January birthday, but also something to treat yourself to because they are the coziest socks in the entire world i absolutely adore them if you are just wanting like a really cozy sunday laid by the fire and you want to keep your feet really nice and snugly warm the white company cashmere socks are my absolute favorite they had them in a few different colors in store they had gray blue pink and this was actually the last white one that i managed to pick up these are 100 percent cashmere so you do have to be careful how you wash these there was one time actually where Alex, bless his heart, put a wash on and didn't realize that they couldn't go in the tumble dryer. <laughs> when I brought them out, they literally looked like little baby socks. Like they were about this big by the time they came out of the tumble dryer. So be sure to be careful with these. Um, but I think it says you're supposed to hand wash. Yeah, cool hand wash separately. Do not use biological detergent. Only non-chlorine bleach when needed. Dry flat, warm iron, dry clean. They sound really high maintenance, but I would just, just say stick them in a normal wash. I do a cold wash anyway with regards to all of my clothes because it's a bit more environmentally friendly. And as long as you just dry them like flat on like a radiator on a surface, they are absolutely fine. And they are honestly just the coziest thing. I've never had anything keep my feet so, so warm. Which speaking of warmth actually, Ugh, oh my goodness, had, as I said, they had a lot of new season stock. They had so many gorgeous things. And in fact, the Ugg slippers that I'm wearing now, they literally had them in the outlet store. And I've never seen this chestnut color, particularly in an outlet before. So I would definitely recommend checking out Ugg. Here I am literally slipping my slipper off my foot to show you. Can you tell? I love the camel vibes, love the warm tones. Um, but yeah, Ugg was a really good one to check out actually, if you are looking for some nice winter warmers. Um, but the last thing that I picked up, from the White Company, which I'm really, really excited about because the way that these were reduced. So originally this was 40 pounds and it was 60% off. So it was reduced to 16 pounds. And I have never seen these before actually. So I'm gonna have a look online to see if I can find something similar to leave linked for you guys. But as you know, I love my tablescapes. I love my kind of like hosting vibes. I love my candles. And if there's something I feel like I've been really, really missing, it is some gorgeous candlesticks. Now, I don't know if you would call these candlesticks because they are so, so tiny. What does it say on? Yeah, they call it a glass candlestick, but they are so short. But that's actually something that I really liked about them. So it's something I sometimes struggle with 
when I am hosting is having a really tall candlestick, a really tall candelabra that when you have everyone sitting down, you know when you're like sat at the table and it's kind of like right in front of your face, so you can't like see the person opposite you. You can't have like a good conversation with whoever you're sitting beside. So I picked up these and I'm so, so excited to start styling them because I feel like these are not seasonal, which is another thing that I quite liked about them because you can style them up in winter, you can style them up in spring, you can style them up in summer. I really do like non-seasonal things, especially when it comes to tablescapes because it just gives them a bit more longevity. It means you're going to be able to use them more. You know, I love talking about cost per wear. And when it comes to the actual candle that you can put in, I feel like you can have a bit more fun with that because they are completely glass. They're not coloured. So whether you want to do green candles, pink candles, red candles, white candles, whether you want to do a candle painting class, that would be really, really fun. Um, so these were an amazing, amazing price. So I picked up those as well from the White Company. So definitely my most successful store and the one that I would always recommend heading straight towards if ever you are visiting Gunwolf Keys or any designer outlets that have a white company, they usually have really good stock, but Gunwolf particularly has amazing white company stock. I then was so impressed to see this at Sweaty Betty because whenever I've gone to Sweaty Betty, the one thing I would say about the outlet stores is that they usually have the colors that don't sell. They usually have like the bright patterns, the bright colors. However, I just had a little look in and thought I would see if I could pick up any new leggings and they had my all day leggings. Now this was the last medium that they had in store. The rest of them were like smalls and extra smalls, but I picked them up in the three quarter length, not three quarter length, seven eighth length, which is something that I can't remember who it was that told me to do that. It was someone I saw on TikTok. She'd like released a video asking basically all the cool gym girls to tell her like how to style up a gym outfit. And everyone agreed, seven eighth leggings. They have changed my life. And now every time on Instagram, whenever someone asks me about like what leggings I'm wearing, I'll always say sweaty Betty, but get the seven eighth length because it just means that they're full length on me. As a short girl who's five foot exactly, I have much shorter legs than most people. So these are like full length on me, but they just fit so, so perfectly. And I really like the all day leggings because they are super cozy, super soft, yet they still work for like workouts. I don't find that they fall down. I don't find that they slip or anything like that. So these are like my literally every day, all day for all eventualities leggings. And I cannot believe that I picked them up in black from the Sweaty Betty outlet at Gunwalk. I then found something very, very exciting at the cosmetic company from Darfan, which you guys know how much I adore Darfan. I just find their products work so, so well. They're really calm and gentle. And I feel like especially at this time of year in winter, that is exactly what I need on my skin. I need calmness. I need soothing. I need gentle. And this was something that they actually released at Christmas. So it was like a Christmas collection. Um, and I'm not entirely sure if there's going to be any left because they were very, very low in stock of them, but the Christmas gifting. So in here we have three favorites. This is the Eclat Sublime gifting. We have the cleanser, the serum and the oil. And this, if you remember actually, what Vlogmas was it? It was like Vlogmas day three or something. Um, I actually went to a press day with Darfan. We did like a bit of a masterclass with regards to um, like cleansing, with regards to um, like facial massage. Oh my gosh, why is this box so difficult to open? And we used these very products with that masterclass. And oh my gosh, they are just my favorite. The serum I'm actually using every single day at the moment. And I'm running really, really low on it. So it's really exciting to have a top up of this. Um, and this oil is so cool because, let me show you. I remember I showed you this actually when I went to the press day. But this oil actually has gold flakes in it. Let me give it a little shake. Can you see those gold flakes? How amazing is that? It is just such an amazing oil. It's a really, really lovely one that I like to use if I'm having like a full on like deep, rich pamper. I do like a really good exfoliation and then put the oil on. It's just a drink for your skin. And then obviously it is a teeny tiny cleanser, but it's a great one when it comes to traveling. I'd also recommend keeping these pots because then it just means that if you do go traveling again and you don't have any actual travel sizes, you can just take whatever cleanser you're using, scoop it out and put it in this. And it is really, really handy. It's like the perfect size for maybe like a three, four day trip, maybe five. You could just about stretch to five. Um, but yeah, I'm really excited to have picked that up so I can add those back into my skincare routine. And I picked up some bits from Svilling. So as I said, my coffee mugs, 
They are just the best coffee mugs in the entire world and I always get so many questions about them from you guys. But I spotted this. Now this is something I feel like we might not necessarily get any use out of until like spring, summer. But if you know me and Alex, particularly in summer, you know Alex is the barbecue king. He literally has that title with regards to our family and we are like the garden party couple. We love hosting a garden party. We love having everyone around for like dinners and things like that. And I feel like this is gonna be the perfect set for that. It is a steak set. So it's a 12 piece set with six steak knives and six steak forks. And they are so beautiful. I feel like this would make such a good gift as well. If you know someone that loves their steak, that loves their hosting. It's so lovely to have like a matching set as well. And they are just so beautiful. Like the quality of these is absolutely stunning. That's nothing nicer than like a good knife and a good fork. And the forks are amazing steak forks as well. So a full set of that from Spilling. I was so, so excited when I spotted it. And I'm definitely going to keep the box as well. I feel like this is going to be so lovely to keep the set in so that we can keep it really nice and like compact. We know where everything is. It's always like there. And oh my goodness me, they had so many gorgeous bits. So I would definitely recommend checking out that like section, as I said, like over the bridge. There's loads of kind of like cookware shops there. Um, like they've got a Zvilling, there's a Pro Cook, and then there's also a T-Fell store. So if you are looking for some new cookware, pots, pans, knives, forks, glasses, cutlery, Honestly, they are amazing and such good prices. Honestly, I couldn't believe it. The price of this it was like 50, 60% off. It was incredible. So really, really excited to pick that up as well. And I love the box that it comes in. I feel like it just looks so, so bougie. As I said, this would make an amazing present. And this is definitely something I think we're really going to get our use out of in spring, summer, when we are back in our hosting era. And lastly, before we completely lose the light, the thing that I am probably most excited about. Now, this is a new store that you would have seen. I think I vlogged just as we were heading in, but I don't think I vlogged inside the store because I was just so overwhelmed. And the lady that worked there was so chatty, so friendly, and so lovely. She actually did this kind of bespoke for me. I think it's called the Farnham Faux Flower Company. And I think it's only a pop-up at Gunwolf Key, so I'm not entirely sure if it will still be there. But definitely check them out online. I know they have a website, she said, as well. Or I'm guessing there's going to be a store in Farnham if you live locally. But you know how much I adore my faux flowers. I love real flowers, don't get me wrong. I love flower arranging. I love doing bouquets. Obviously, I love growing my own flowers and being able to cut them. But there is just something so special about faux flowers because it just means that they never die. And it means that you are constantly filled with like beautiful blooms, lovely colors, lots of foliage that doesn't die. You don't have to maintain and always looks beautiful. And when I saw this, I just fell in love with it. Now, I believe these are peonies and they are just the most beautiful peonies in the world. I feel like the way that she has done them is so clever because if you look closely, it literally looks like the flowers are like starting to wilt. It looks like they are starting to die. And some of these actually look like dried flowers, which they're not, but they do look like they are dried. And obviously we've got a gorgeous eucalyptus. We've got like one here that's completely closed, which I just think is so, so lovely. So they're all in kind of like different stages. You've got some that just look like they've just bloomed, some that look like they're starting to wilt. And it is honestly, I think the most beautiful floral arrangement I've ever, ever seen. It comes with this gorgeous little, um, just like silvery vase, which I think is quite understated as well. And I love the fact that it's more of like this boat shape. I am envisioning this potentially on the kitchen table, I think it would look really, really lovely, or on a windowsill. I feel like the shape of this just warrants itself for something like a little bit more elongated, something a bit longer, um, but I just fell in love with it. I thought it was so special and so, so lovely. And as I said, you know how much I adore my faux flowers. So I'll see if I can find Farnham Faux Flower Company and leave it linked for you guys in case it isn't still available at Gunwolf Keys but I am just so in love with this arrangement and I'm definitely going to add it into the kitchen straight away because I just think the pop of pink, the pop of color is just absolutely beautiful. Well, I think it is safe to say that we have officially lost the light. It was starting to look really, really blue in the camera there. So I've just turned the kitchen lights on and I can't tell you how quickly it is getting dark. It's always the thing that surprises me most, no matter how far we are into winter, just how quickly the light goes as soon as the sun sets. But I'm not gonna lie to you. I am still feeling a little bit like cold to the bone. Does anyone else get this? You know when you've like been outside 
outside all day you've been out in the cold and you just almost feel like it's like seeped in i'm actually someone especially when i get cold i almost feel like i need to like take the cold clothes off and change my outfit but if there is one thing that always warms my soul literally warms me up from the inside it's a bubble bath and a cup of tea and i think i deserve that today because we've been doing a lot of walking. I feel like shopping is one of the most tiring exercises in the world, especially when you've got so many bags that you're carrying, you're doing a lot of steps. I was just wearing my Apple Watch actually, because I always find it really interesting to know like how many steps I do whenever I have a shopping day, but I think I'm going to head upstairs and run myself a bubble bath and just warm myself up from the inside. Something that I did see at Gum Wharf today, which I kind of regret not picking up, but I just know that I have quite a few in my collection at the moment and didn't really need it, but was the Lavande from Loxtan. I'm not gonna lie, Loxtan was a store that really, really surprised me because their products are so classic. Like they don't really rotate them and like update the stock really regularly with new products. Like their products are their products. And yet the prices, most of them were literally like half off. The um, Immortel Reset Serum was literally half price. The Reset Eye Serum was half price. They were such amazing prices. And they had the Lavand um, in the kind of like tin, but they also had the top ups. They were less than 20 pounds, which I think is absolutely amazing. But I still have quite a few in this and I do actually still have one top up bag that I need to empty. So kind of regret not picking that up today because the prices were just absolutely insane and i love the lavand bubble bath it is just my absolutely favorite it is the original lavender essential oil from a hot provence foaming bath and it creates the loveliest bubbles and it's just the most relaxing scent i absolutely love that so i'm going to use that for my bath this evening and then i'm going to give myself a little bit of a pamper which i'm actually using loxetan products as well this is my favorite thing to do when i just really want to give my skin a bit of like a scrub, a reset, and just really get in deep. Um, you would have seen in my What I Got For Christmas video, this facial massage. It's so super soft. It's really, really lovely. And if you want like a really deep exfoliation, this is amazing. It's also good if you fake tan and maybe you just get like a little bit of a patch on your elbow and like on a knuckle. It's great at just like scrubbing it off. It's so, so beautiful. I love the wood as well. It feels really, really nice to hold. And then I basically use it with the L'Occitane Oil to Milk um, Facial Remover. I quite like this one because it's not foamy so I don't find it drying um, and with this I don't really like a balm cleanser I like something that's a bit more oily so I really really like this and this was also available at Gum Wolf Keys as well and then I quite like to finish off with this which is a toner it's the um, Immortel Precieux toner and I really really love it it says here that it's a hydration essential water but it is definitely more of a tone like it's just a really really lovely kind of finish to your skincare um, with regards to like your cleansing gets everything out of your skin and then it means that you can apply some really lovely rich skincare rich moisturizers and serums probably let's be honest on my Delphine products this evening so i'm going to be using those for my bath so let's get this bath running and have a lovely cozy evening is there anything better then the kind of bath where you literally come out looking like a lobster. I was lobster pink coming out of that bath. I ran it so hot, but it was so, so dreamy. I'm the kind of person that likes a really, really hot bath. One thing I've actually been thinking of doing is getting one of those, you know, the baby temperature monitors that you do when you've got a child so that you know what temperature to do their bath at. I kind of want to get one for myself just so that I know exactly what temperature I actually like doing my bath because there's nothing worse than when you get it wrong. You know when like sometimes you do it a bit too hot and like you literally can't even get it in it and then sometimes you do it too cold and after 10 minutes of sitting in the bath you think oh I need to top up the hot water, I need to top up the hot water and, it, and it's just not relaxing. There is nothing better than when you just like get that temperature perfect and I definitely did that this evening so I've just slathered myself in some really nourishing and moisturizing skincare and as you can see my face is very red after giving it a good exfoliation as well. Um, I've just slathered my body in my Elizabeth Arden the green tea honey drops body cream. Oh my goodness me this is just dreamy. I feel like I just smell absolutely incredible now and I've just gotten into my PJs. This is actually a is this a white company? I think it's really really old but I'm wearing white company PJs and of course I've got my little cashmere socks on and my Ugg slippers and being really nice and cozy warm and I'm gonna head downstairs now because we have 
an episode of The Traitors to watch. Which I'm so, so excited about. I feel like it's just been filling our evenings recently and I am loving it. So I am just going to go and get cosy with Alex. I can hear him downstairs. I think dinner is almost ready. and I'm absolutely starving and we all know what a good chef Alex is. So I'm going to fill my belly get downstairs and i will see you guys in my next vlog i really hope you guys enjoyed coming to gum wharf with me and seeing what's new in with regards to the january sales but also the new season styling and i will see you guys in my next one bye